Hi, welcome to July. As part of our 2024 Taylor Palladino calendar, each month we do something special. And this month, is peach ice cream day. And so I'm gonna have a bunch of family and friends come in and we're gonna make some peach ice cream. So peach ice cream day, we love. Growing up, I used to have peaches covered with sugar and milk every 4th of July. My father made those and it was the greatest thing. And growing up, I used to go to summer camp, same one Ben went to some 30 years later called Camp Country Lad, where the women that worked there used to make fresh ice cream every week. It's easy to do, it's delicious. You will love this recipe. Make it with your family and friends. There's no harm in doing it. You'll love this. It's not necessarily healthy, but it is delicious. Let's go through the ingredients for this. You need four peaches, ideally as ripe as you can get, two cups of sugar, that's divided in one half and then one and a half cups of sugar, two cups of evaporated milk, two cups of cream, and four eggs and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And ideally something to make the ice cream with. One of those old handheld crank ones we used to use or any of the electric models that are out there. So we slice up our peaches into bite-sized pieces, and then we're gonna cover this with about a half a cup of sugar and let this sit while we make everything else. That really brings out that peach juice and that peach flavor we want throughout the ice cream. It looks like a lot of sugar, but this will all dissolve in the juice from the peach and be easy to add to your ice cream. So we're just gonna cover them and then let them sit on the side. So the next thing we're gonna do is mix four whole eggs and a cup and a half of sugar. We use raw eggs throughout this. If you're concerned about the raw eggs, you can buy pasteurized eggs or pasteurize them yourself in like an immersion cooker. It seems like a lot of sugar because it is, but it's delicious. So we mix our two cups of cream and our two cups of evaporated milk together, and we're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla extract to give it that nice vanilla flavor. We'll add our egg mixture and sugar to this, blend this one more time, and we'll put it in our ice cream maker. Next thing we do is we pour our ice cream into the frozen container for the churn. This is the one we use. We also have an electric one. It's easy, they're everywhere. We got this at Target. Pour our custard in, and you don't want to fill it all the way up because this is going to expand as it goes. We utilize almost all of it. Set it up to churn and then we'll turn it on and let it freeze. It goes for about 60 minutes to get fully frozen. We're gonna add our peaches to the mixture right before it sets. So we'll add the peaches in in about 25, 30 minutes. And then we just turn it on and it goes. So we'll see you in about 30 minutes as we add our peaches and then we'll show you the final product. So once the ice cream begins to thicken up just a little bit, we add our peaches and sugar mixture in so we get that great peach flavor. The ice cream is now all the way risen up to the top. It's frozen and we've got a great mix. So next we're gonna do is turn this off. We're gonna take our ice cream and we're gonna let it freeze solid. We're gonna put it, we've got, we keep these all over the place for parties and for leftovers. And so we'll put our ice cream into a couple of containers and freeze it so we have it really good and firm before we serve it. The ice cream's churned for now the last 45 minutes to an hour. So it's got a really nice airy texture. When we freeze it, that won't change. It'll be just as smooth as it is right now. You can see how that really has come together. Normally, if I weren't on camera, I would literally lick the ice cream off of this, but sadly you're watching me, so I can't, but it is delicious. Grab a spoon and literally we'll just take all of this ice cream, as you can see, that looks really great with the peaches mixed all the way through. And we're gonna place it into a couple of containers to store in the freezer. And in about an hour, this will be solid and perfect to eat. I'm gonna put a top on this one for us yep. and go. One more and then in a minute we have people coming over because when you make peach ice cream in Texas everybody's gonna show up. It's 100 degrees outside. It's a perfect treat for a day like today. If 
you could smell this, you'd smell the peaches. They are literally just, it's filled with peaches and all that great peach essence. Pop those in the freezer. In a minute, we'll see you all when we have all the guests over for ice cream. So our ice cream is made, and as always, people are here to have some. <laughs> My dad, born in 1930, has made ice cream since he was a little kid. Dad, tell us about it. We used to make it every spring, but we had to crank the freezer. Just, there was nothing like you have today. You just did it like this until, <laughs> until it was thick, and that was it. But God, it was good, just like it is now. He looks good for 93, doesn't he? Mom, ice cream? It's wonderful. Jan, tell us about your ice cream. How do you like it? So, so well, I haven't tried it, but I am. <laughs> tell them you love it. I love it. Mm. It is <laughs> delicious. It tastes just like Rustin peaches. I'm always going to give you a Louisiana reference, and so that's where we get our peaches in Louisiana. It really is delicious. Ben, final thoughts? Well, thank you all so much for joining us, and we will see you again in August. Thank you guys for being here. God, this is good. It is good. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Okay.